family belongs. Get your mirror out. Get your cell phone. Flip it around and, and take you a good selfie. I'm talking to everyone in this building. Look across the aisle. That's a shadow walker. Look over there. That's a shadow walker. At the back of the room, there's a shadow walker because all of us have to walk through the very valley of the shadow of death. Philippians 4 verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which surpasseth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. Folks, if it wasn't for God's peace and holding on to God, God has kept me through some experiences, literally where I wanted to put my shoes on my head and my hat on my feet. God is your friend in that time of trouble. He's your friend that will come right here where grief is wanting to claim this day, where sorrow wants to come in and destroy this family. And I submit to you that we serve a God that can give you peace when it doesn't make any sense. Psalm 30 and 5, the psalmist said, For his anger endures but for a moment, and in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for the night, but how many of y'all know that joy comes in the morning? First Thessalonians 4 verses, uh, Paul writing to the church of Thessalonica in First Thessalonians 4 verses 13 and 14. He said, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will bring God with him. Verse 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we are all, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we uh, ever be with the Lord. It says here, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Isaiah 26 verse 3, I think I left a, a, a towel over there. Isaiah 26, verse 3, it said, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. I heard him say it earlier. He said, John, uh, the New Testament scripture that he read, he said, uh, uh, John 14 and 1, it said, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. This scripture uh, uh, speaks of the virtues of heaven, a prepared place for a prepared people. This is that very same uh, heaven when I was a little boy that so many preachers used to preach about before we started having scores of preachers starting to preach preaching series like these uh, to please the flesh of the matches, masses by preaching sermons such as 10 steps to your breakthrough, 5 steps to dominating the marketplace, and 27 steps to get your boo back. I used to hear in church circles that there's a heaven to win and a hell to shun. Folks, the old preacher used to preach Romans 6 verse 23 that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Folks, death is a byproduct of sin. So since Romans 3.23 states that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and, and since every one of us has had our own personal experience with sin, death has us in its scopes. However, my brothers and sisters, you don't have to be prayer for sin pray for death. John 3 verses 14 through 18 and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so, so must the son of man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. 
For God so loved the world, we used to say that back in the day, and we get amens just for saying that, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, Paul writing to